Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Wasbauer. We're about to start surgery, but I had a really good question from a patient that I wanted to let everybody know about. And that is, what about seborrheic dermatitis? Seborrheic dermatitis is the other word for dandruff, those little flakes. Some people just have it as light little flakes coming off of their scalp. You might see it on a dark shirt or something like that. But a lot of people have it where it's really kind of adherent. It comes off as like a scale, like not, not like a snake scale, but like this greasy kind of plaque that comes off your head. They get very thick, kind of oily. And in those cases, and sometimes you'll see this on the head of somebody who's really lost a lot of hair, and it'll look like a little brown spot, like maybe a little smudge or a sun damage freckle or something like that. In those cases, you really do need to take care of it before surgery. Seborrheic dermatitis all by itself doesn't cause hair loss. When it progresses, it does cause low-level inflammation, which can accelerate hair loss or at least cause a hair transplant not to grow as well. But there's a solution, so you don't need to worry about it. What you just need to do is take good care of your hair. Washing your hair frequently, maybe using some of the shampoos that help with seborrheic dermatitis, like ketoconazole shampoo, coal tar shampoo, zinc pyrothione shampoo, or even selenium shampoo, something like Selsun Blue. Those things work really well, and especially if you put it on top of your head and leave it for five minutes. I have a very good friend. Her name is Robin Unger, and what she suggests to her patients is that you put it on top of your head first thing in the morning, dry, and then you leave it. Go check an email, go get a cup of coffee, come back and rinse it out. And that seems to work pretty well, not only avoiding the problems of seborrheic dermatitis, but also avoiding the strange looks you get when you put shampoo on a dry head. In any case, that's seborrheic dermatitis for you when it comes to surgery. And let me know if you have any more questions.